You are tuned into Be Me Community Digest. We build caring and prosperous communities inspired by black men. This week, Americans took to the streets demonstrating and gathering to talk about race and injustices against their fellow brethren. Over 50,000 Americans took to the streets of New York as part of nonviolent protests against human rights violations this past weekend. Tens of thousands of Americans also gathered in Washington, D.C., Berkeley, Atlanta, Oakland, and Boston. Men and women of, unique, of multiple races marched with their hands raised in protests against the slayings of Americans by police officers who received no penalty for their actions. Near Beamy headquarters in Miami, protests resulted in major highway shutdowns during one of the largest international arts gathering of the year, Art Basel. A poetry rally hosted by artists against police brutality and cultures of violence will take place in New York this Saturday at 1 p.m. rain or shine in the Washington Square Park. Beamy leader Solomon Jones was featured on ABC's Nightline as one of the many black fathers in America struggling to communicate the state of race and justice in America to their families. The episode reveals the important conversations that white and black fathers are having with their children. You can watch the episode Two Fathers, Two Sons, Two Different Conversations on Race online at abcnews.com. This weekend, the Detroit Future Project, along with Beamy leader Jay Rayford, flew to New York to attend DreamCon 2014. The project director invited Future Project youth leaders to represent the Motor City. DreamCon brings youth together from around the nation to empower the next generation. Check out hashtag DreamCon 2014. This Saturday, Detroit Beamy leaders honored the late Beamy leader Louis A. Colson as part of a healthy living event at the Northwest Activity Center. Phyllis Hubbard offered tools for living healthier lifestyles and being more proactive, specifically in areas of prostate cancer and stress reduction for men. More than 40 people attended the event. Thank you for helping us celebrate the life and legacy of Mr. Colson. Afterward, Detroit Beamy leader Curtis Lipscomb held the 12th annual gala and fundraiser for KIC, Detroit Center for Gay, Lesbian, Bisexual, and Transgender African Americans. Thanks to the many Beamy leaders who supported the gala, you can learn more about KIC and how to support at e-kick.org. The application for emerging leaders in Baltimore is now open for leaders who support youth ages 13 through 23 for projects that occur outside of the school day and school year. Those selected will spend six months engaged in personal and project development. The deadline is December 23rd. You can apply at mdoutofschooltime.org. Thanks for tuning in to Be Me Community Digest. You can read about these stories and more at bemecommunity.org.